everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video and today guys we are going to customize a very special doll and I'm talking about this original Britney Spears doll from the 90s 1999 to be exact and you know I was looking for one of these dolls in a non-collectible condition for a quite a long time so you can see that this doll has no original outfit I've just put some random Barbie dress on her because she looked a little bit too naked for me and then you can see that her feet have been chewed by some dog or cat or some other pet so this doll is absolutely perfect for me, perfect for my makeover because today I'm going to turn this pre-loved and uncollectible doll into a collectible one or I will try at least so guys, let's keep this intro very short because I'm really looking forward to working on this doll. I can't wait to wipe her face off with pure acetone. And this is exactly what we're going to do in a second. But first, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And of course, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes because it's very important. And this being said, let's start working. Let's give Britney the makeover. This doll has a very strange face. I can see that they really tried to make her look like Britney, but I'm not really sure if it all worked. Like, her lips look super strange, I don't know. I hope I will be able to make it all better, but I'm not really sure, really. Her hair is just a living demonstration of why I don't like making braids out of rerouted hair. You can clearly see that these braids are way too thick. They're like two times thicker than her upper arms. That's not right. This is not the right proportion. I think this hairstyle will look much better made out of yard hair. So I will show you the difference later in this video. Her body is kind of a typical Barbie body from the 90s with this clicking legs. I don't know what kind of this sounds feels very nostalgic to me, this old clicking Barbie legs. The arms are not articulated, the waist is also not movable, so I think I will simply replace this body with a much more perfect and realistic Barbie made to move body a little bit later in this project, so it will make my doll much more realistic and poseable and more alive in general. So, and now I think I'm ready to cut off her hair, disconnect the head from the body, and then I will remove her face with pure acetone. Oh, and you can see now, by the way, that she has very little hair, just around her hairline and the part, because like this they try to make the braids thinner, to use as little hair as possible, but it didn't help much, these braids were anyway way too thick. So everything is gone and I can start drawing her new face, trying to replicate Britney's original features that would make her look more realistic and alive. This is the goal for today.
Good, I think I'm happy with the face, so now let's replace this old stiff body with a beautiful poseable Barbie made to move one. And let's blush this body with soft pastels to make it the same color like her face. Okay guys, I think this part of the makeover is finished and I can start working on her hair. And I will use this pretty scary looking yarn for it. If you remember, I used the same yarn to make disastrous hair of my zombie Cinderella just a couple of weeks ago. And today you will see that this ugly yarn gives actually very natural looking ash blonde hair. So you will see it in a second. And you see, it looks really good, really nice natural hair color. So I can start attaching this yarn to the doll's head and I will use a little bit lighter blonde yarn to make highlights in her hair. And this blonde yarn is, by the way, coming from the leftovers of hair from my Tiffany the Chucky's Bright project, also from a couple of weeks ago, so it's nice that I can use it today.
how it looks the next day when the glue got dry, so I think I'm ready to style it and to cut her bangs. Okay, everything looks really cute to me so far. Now I want to make these fluffy things that she has in her hair. It was such a hit in the 90s, I remember. And for this I will use short pieces of pink yarn. I will simply tie this yarn around the base of her braids. And then I will fluff it up and tease it a little bit to create like a pink fluffy cloud. Yes, I think it looks absolutely adorable. It, it was my favorite part of the project so far. I'm also adding magenta pink bows to her braids. And after this, we're done with her hair. So, I don't know, I feel very proud about everything that is going on in this project. She looks absolutely amazing. So I will apply gloss to her eyes and lips. And then it's time to move on to her outfit. And I've decided to recreate the outfit this doll used to wear originally, the one from Baby One More Time music video. And it means that we are going to make a blouse, a skirt, a cardigan, a bra. So I've already prepared all the fabric, you can see it here, and I will start with making the black bra. Now, actually, I'm starting with making a bra pattern for this doll using the masking tape, and then I will copy the pattern to the black fabric and I will sew it all together. So this is the finished bra, I think it looks super cute, it's a very good start for her outfit. So now let's move on to the white blouse. I will make it without sleeves because with the cardigan on top of it there will be too much fabric around her arms and it will affect her movements. So I will make a white blouse without sleeves and then I will attach white cuffs to the sleeves of the cardigan to create like an illusion of a white blouse with long sleeves. I'm using a see-through hair elastic to tie the shirt on the front because a regular knot would look too thick here so I think the elastic is better and I think the finished blouse looks absolutely great this is exactly how it's supposed to look so let's continue and make a skirt so I keep the front panels of the skirt ungathered and then I gather the rest of it so that will be the back and the sides of the skirt and the front will stay just flat this is how Britney's skirt approximately made I 
I've added buttons to the front and we're done with the skirt. I don't know, it looks beautiful. I think it looks really good, very similar to the Britney skirt. And I've also made a pair of long socks for her, so now her outfit is almost complete. But I still need to make that grey cardigan and I'm going to use this soft velvet fabric for it. I think it will look good on her. So now I'm going to connect all the parts of the cardigan together and of course I cannot forget the white cuffs to imitate the long sleeves of the blouse. Guys, the outfit is complete. I've made it all and I think it all looks absolutely great and very recognizable. I've decided to give her these shoes. I think they're similar to what Britney wears in that video. So, and now I think we're ready to take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, this is my updated version of the original Britney doll and to be honest, she looks much better than I thought she would be in the beginning of this makeover because her face was really strange before and I couldn't even understand if her facial proportions were completely correct. It's like everything seemed to be okay but everything looked completely off at the same time. It was kind of confusing face for me. So I wasn't sure if there was that much potential in this makeover, but she actually looks super good and super realistic to me. And she's definitely recognizable as Britney. I'm still especially happy about the pink fluffy things in her hair. They're just amazing. Maybe they're not that good visible on the pictures on the white background. But anyway, they're super cute. So, and now I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about this makeover. Does she look like Britney to you? And does she look more like Britney now than she did before? I don't know, I would answer yes to both of these questions. But we are all different, of course, and we often have different opinions. And this is totally okay. So, I'm super curious to hear what you're going to say. And guys, please don't hesitate to share this makeover with Britney. Imagine if Britney sees it. I don't know, <laughs> it would be just a dream come true, but I think it's possible. If many people tag her in it, she might see it, of course. So, guys, help me to show this video to Britney. And also, please subscribe to my Instagram. Soon I will post a lot of travel stories from my very soon upcoming transatlantic cruise adventure. And if you want to buy this doll, please check my eBay. She's there for sale for three days. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon next week, Friday, in another very, very, very special doll makeover. See you soon. Love you guys. Bye.